All right, guys. It is BJ, and I am back with another segment on No Filter MMA. So, Sean O'Malley is out of UFC 229. And it's kind of crazy that, you know, he he, he, he jumped the gun and, and um, put it out there that he was off the car due to an anti-doping um, flag by USADA. So, my question is, did John Jones really snitch on Sean O'Malley? Now, this whole John Jones snitch thing has been huge. This thing has been huge, y'all. People are saying that John Jones got... Now, this has been a long, complicated thing with John Jones. This ain't something that just popped up. This is John Jones' third time being popped by USADA. And, you know, a second or third time. I know this is his third big incident where he's not been able to fight. You know, for whatever reason. And most of the time, it's it's got something to do with USADA. So, you know, a lot of people are saying that. You know, then all of a sudden, just snap up a finger, John Jones is off. And he's able, he's eligible to fight now. So, you know, a lot of people are, you know, people are saying that he took the snitch clause. And, you know, he did take the snitch, you know, the snitch deal out of it. So, then all of a sudden, boom, Sean O'Malley is been has been popped for, you know, by USADA. I don't know what's for. Um, I haven't really read on what he got popped on, um, whether it was marijuana or whether it was a PED. But <laughs> Sean O'Malley was popped, y'all. So he is out of UFC 229. So, and a lot of people are speculating. Once again, keyword speculating. All you. All you trolls out there, I'm not confirming anything. I'm not putting anything on John Jones. So let's just, you know, correct that. Let's get that out the way first before the comments start raining in. Um, but I do want to say, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people are speculating that John Jones, for one, they're saying he snitched on um, uh, Cowboy Cerrone. Um, I, I, apparently, I don't know. Some people saying he snitched on Cowboy Cerrone. Now some people speculating that he snitched on Sean O'Malley. You know what I mean? And do you think? Do you guys honestly think that John Jones would do something like that? Like that's like, like that's an honest question that I'm asking everyone who's watching this video. And please, guys, leave your answers in the comment section. Do you guys really think that John Jones is snitching on people? For one, how would John Jones know? Is it, is it like a thing between fighters? To, uh, hey, I'm doing PEDs. Hey, I'm doing PEDs. What about you? What are you taking? Well, I'm taking this. Oh, well, don't tell anybody. Do you guys really think that that's happening? Because if that's happening, that's really not. That's really not a good look. Like, that's not a good look at all if that's happening. Which I don't. I mean, I don't want to believe that that's happening, but you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are coming up with some very credible, uh, some very credible, uh, theories as to, you know, John Jones snitched on Sean O'Malley. But anyways, guys, I was actually looking forward to Sean O'Malley's fight and, and, and it sucks that he's off. But, um, like my boy full-time MMA said, you know, this could be just the sacrifice to, the 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 MMA gods because of the track record of big fights like this you know Connor and could be you know Khabib has a, you know we got Khabib on this card and we got Tony Ferguson on this card so and they're both known to not all of a sudden be able to fight you know injury or whatever you know uh, we know Tony Ferguson just had the you know he tripped over a wire and <laughs> freak accident happened you know um, so back to the snitching thing, guys. Do you really think that John Jones snitched on Sean O'Malley? Y'all let me know what you think. Y'all leave your questions in the comment, leave your answers in the comments, and I will do my best to get back to them. This is BJ from No Filter MMA. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.